Today we're going to talk about how you can fix your mistake if you're opening your racket during your contact point, both on your forehand and on your backhand. In order to fix that mistake, you have to make sure that your racket is closed on your backswing. If your racket is closed on your backswing, then you're less likely to open your racket when you're starting to hit. If you open your racket on your backswing, then you have to additionally close your racket right before you make contact with the ball. So how do you learn to close your racket on the backswing? I'm gonna show you a couple exercises that you can do to make sure that you close your racket on your backswing and that then it's easier to lead your racket to the ball when the racket is already closed. So put your racket down, keep your hand in front of you like this with a thumb pointing up, with the pinky pointing down like this in the neutral position. As you make your unit turn, you turn your palm away from you towards the side fence like this. So you turn your wrist a little bit. This imitates, like we imitate the palm as the surface of the racket that you're going to hit the ball with. So if you turn it away from you, you kind of close your racket and your racket will be pointing to the ground. So if you take your racket, you take your forehand grip, you hold your racket, you see now it's in a neutral position. And now if I imitate the same thing and I turn my wrist away from me, the surface of the racket that I'm hitting with will face the other way, like this. That way my racket is closed during the backswing. That means when I swing to the ball, most likely it will be closed or neutral. The same happens on the back end. You have to make sure that the surface that you hit with is pointing more to the ground or to the other side, like to the side fence. You don't have to bring it up like this. Just keep it more natural and turn it away. Turn it away pointing to the ground so that the surface that you hit with always is close to the sky. An open racket means that the surface that you hit with slightly sees the sky. So let's say if we had a mirror here, mirror on the surface that we hit the ball with. We want to turn that mirror away from us like this. That will prevent opening the racket on the early stages as you hit. It's easier to understand this movement when you're first doing it just with your hand. And then once you understand what you're doing, you take the racket and try to do the same thing. Do, you don't have to overdo it and like twist your wrist too much, point it up like this. No, just try to keep it natural. Just make sure that the surface that you're hitting with points a little bit down to the side. It's recommended to do it a couple times without the ball, just so that you can track it with your eyes as well and see what's happening. Do it a couple times and then try not watching the racket with your eyes. Just turn and see if it's closed or not. And the same you have to do on your backhand. And once you did it a couple times without the ball, then Try doing it easy with the ball when you know that the ball is coming to your forehand, for example, you have time to turn, then you stop and hit. And the same you do on the back end. You turn, you stop, you hit. One more exercise that you can do for the backswing is you start with the surface that you're hitting with pointing to the ground like this. You put a t-shirt or you can put a cone or anything, I'm just using a t-shirt, but you can use just something flat that you can put like this on your racket. So obviously if I open my racket, the t-shirt will fall down. If I keep my racket closed, my t-shirt will not fall down. So this is what I do. And then I make the unit turn and I keep the t-shirt on my racket. Obviously when I start hitting, it will fall off because here in the back, the racket is turning. You can do the same thing on your backhand. When you put the t-shirt, you hold the racket. This is a little bit awkward because we usually don't start like this for the backhand, but uh, this is a good exercise just to get used to it. And then you turn here, you make sure that your racket is closed. And once you hit, obviously, when the lag happens, the t-shirt will fall off. The exercise with the t-shirt you can do most likely 
with, uh, when you're not playing or if somebody's feeding you a ball so that then you can place the t-shirt then you can like prepare your backswing and after that the ball is fed and you can hit if you're playing a live ball this will not be possible hope you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe and we'll see you guys soon